Hi folks, welcome back. My name is Quick, where I'm a pharmacist. In today's video, I'm going to be answering three very common questions about metformin that I seem to be getting over and over again. So I figured I would answer those three questions once and for all. So without much ado, let's dive straight into it. And the first question is, can metformin cause kidney damage? Well, if you have healthy kidneys and you're taking metformin, chances are that metformin will not be a problem for you. Metformin has not been known to cause kidney damage in people who have otherwise good functioning kidneys. Metformin only becomes a problem for people who have moderate to severe kidney damage. Now, this is the thing. Metformin is excreted by the kidneys or when you take metformin, it is the kidney's responsibility to get rid of it. So if you already have a kidney that is not functioning at an optimum level, then what happens is that the body is not able to get rid of the metformin effectively. Now, this leads to the buildup of certain substances in the body and one of them is lactic acid and which also leads to lactic acidosis, which is a very serious condition and in very rare cases can even be deadly. So rule of thumb here, there are actually some guidelines as to people who are good candidates for metformin. Now you probably haven't paid attention to this, but whenever you receive your lab report, there is a particular number on that lab report. It's called the GFR or the glomerular filtration rate. This measures the, how quickly or how effectively your kidney is filtering out stuff. Ideally, we want you to be above 60. If you are above 60, then that means that you can take metformin, no questions asked, nobody even blinks an eye. If you are between 45 and 59, yes, you still can take metformin, but the recommendation is that there should be more frequent checks on your kidney to make sure that everything is okay. Once you drop below 40, 45, so between 30 and 44, then those adjustments for metformin should be taking place. Your doctor should be looking at you and even deciding in, to begin with whether you are even a good candidate or whether there are better alternatives for you apart from metformin. If your doctor thinks that you still need to take metformin in that instance, then he would have to make those adjustments. The recommendation the maximum dose for people that fall in that category is 1,000 milligrams of metformin. Now, if you go below 30, then metformin becomes contraindicated. In that case, your kidneys are not filtering out stuff more effectively enough for you to be able to take metformin. So just a quick tip there, if you've never paid attention to it, you now when you get your lab report, just take a look at that GFR and see where you stand. Number two, does metformin cause cancer? The straightforward answer is no, metformin is not known to cause cancer. Matter of fact, metformin has been documented in some instances actually to reduce the risk of developing certain cancers. And metformin may also even be used as an adjunct in treating certain cancers. Now, an adjunct medication is a medication that is given not necessarily to treat a particular condition, but they, will, they find out that when you add that medication to, for example, in this case, the cancer, the real cancer medications, the cancer medication tends to work better. So metformin in certain cancers may actually even be added as an adjunct. I guess the, the, the story or the, the rumors about metformin causing cancer came about you know, back, I think, two or three years ago in 2019. There were several recalls of metformin and this was not due to the metformin itself being bad, but it was due to the fact that certain lot numbers from certain companies were found to contain a, a contaminant, a NDMA, which when taken in large quantities over a, a relatively long period of time, may be uh, potentially carcinogenic. So that I believe is the exodus of a lot of the rumors about metformin causing cancer. All things being equal, all those affected lots should have been re re removed from your pharmacy. So you shouldn't be receiving any of those lots. So uh, metformin is not documented to increase the risk of cancer. Number three, does metformin cause liver damage? No, the straightforward answer is no, metformin does not cause liver damage. The only problem comes about when somebody already has a pre-existing liver condition. So for example, they have liver cirrhosis. In that instance, people with such liver problems have a slightly elevated risk of developing lactic acidosis like we talked about. And since metformin also by itself can slightly increase your risk of developing lactic acidosis, when you increase and when you combine those two um, situations, then you are at a relatively higher risk of developing a lactic acidosis. So even though people with liver problems can take metformin, generally it's, there's a little bit more monitoring. You need to be a little bit more cautious. You and your doctor need to be paying a little bit more attention just to make sure that you're not developing lactic acidosis or there is no buildup of any metabolites in your body that may be harmful to you. 
So quick short answers to these three questions that I've been getting over and over again. On your screen now is a medication review that I did on metformin that talks about minimizing the side effects. Take a look at it. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Thank you so much for staying through. Stay blessed. I'll catch you on the next video.